Hi. <laughs> oh my Cheers. God! I need some tea. Cheers. Uh, there's not much left. What's in this tea, by the way? This is peppermint tea. So, peppermint tea. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's it. There's nothing more left okay. than that. Okay. You know, I'm very, very uh, paranoid about the teas. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, so why are we here? We are here because uh, Peter uh, is an expert on things digital and technological. I am uh, somewhat experienced, but uh, I'm rather skeptical about a lot of the things. And so we're going to be talking about products that you at home probably want to buy or already have. And we're going to try to answer all of your questions. So I'm going to be the voice of the people uh, asking questions to somebody who really knows what he's talking about. Okay, well, I really am skeptical that you can answer all the questions that people have. Well, but um, but I'll, I'll add one more thing. And, right. I, and, and I think that uh, in this segment and maybe in some of the segments that we're going to be working on going forward, I'm particularly interested in, in talking about the technology that I actually use. Mm. There's so much emphasis on new technology, right. the latest processor, the latest screen. And... Apple's the biggest hard drive. The biggest hard drive. <laughs> well, yeah, my hard drive's bigger than yeah, yours. Yeah, I know, exactly. But the size the uh, well, um, okay. You threw me off, uh, but, <laughs> which is not that hard to do. No. Oh. Um, so, but it's, it's really a little distracting when they have these big public presentations because at the end of the day, when the buzz wears down, if, if there's a new announcement from Cupertino, for example, mm, mm. and they put on a great show, and you yourself said, mm -hmm. wow, that iPhone 11, that's oh, wow. something I really, wow, wow. maybe it's time to finally upgrade my phone. Yeah, I was but do you have to? No. And, no. and the thing is, is we're going to be looking at that, mm -hmm. I think. And um, sometimes I think that there's too much of a churn with the technology, and maybe we're not maximizing as much what we can get out of it. I've got, in my office, for example, and, and I'm going to say 2005, my 2005 office contains <laughs> items that I think I bought approximately in 2005, but I don't keep those receipts. Right. right but right, right, uh, right, right. I, I don't keep those receipts around. But I, I was looking around this morning, and I still have the same HP LaserJet 1012, which... Uh, probably came out in 2001 or 2002 or something like that. And at the time, I thought it was great because it, I, I could print graphics mm -hmm. and it wouldn't take forever. Mm -hmm. And I still use it now for th simple things like printing documents and printing checks and mm -hmm. things like that. And uh, my toner cartridges... You know, those are expensive. I you know. Ever bought a That's where they cartridge? get you. That's where they get you. They, well, they, they give you the printer for ninety nine dollars, and then you, you, then they send you a link so that you can have it, have the cartridges delivered. That's more expensive. Yes, <laughs> than the printer. <laughs> yeah, three hundred dollars for a cartridge. Yeah. They, okay. So uh, I think they need to, uh, yeah, to to look at that, and and we'll look at that as well. Yeah, we will. Because these. These, a lot of these items, like I said, that one is still working for me. And also, I've got a scanner mm -hmm. that I still use. It's an Epson scanner. I'm just going to say it's from 2005 because mm -hmm. I, I can't recall when I actually bought it. Mm -hmm. But that thing still works like a charm. Now, it mm -hmm. does groan a little bit. It tells me, <laughs> scanner warming up, you know, whenever <laughs> I try to. And I'm like, okay, that's kind of like, you know, the old... 70s Buick and back, you know, you've got to turn it on and let it run for 15 minutes for the engine to warm up. That's right. So that's what that little Epson scanner is doing. Yep. But it still does a great job mm -hmm. at scanning. Mm -hmm. And it, uh, the drivers are still supported mm -hmm. uh, occasionally. Is, is Epson still in business? Do you know? Yeah, they definitely are. Oh, I'll get there. They the definitely business. are. I know they used to have some other products. Which that was my first computer since. was an Epson QX10. Oh, I don't even know. Dual what that floppy, is. the big ones, the five yeah. and a quarter, right? And, and then the Equity Plus, right? Yes, 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 yes. yes I remember yes. the Equity Plus. <sighs> but and you the know, dot matrix is just sound like a fifty caliber machine gun. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Just mowing down the paper. <laughs> mowing down the paper, yeah. Or the competition, yeah. whatever. Um, but so sometimes you don't really that. need you don't really need to upgrade a lot. No, and and that's this this is uh, why I, I wanted to tell you a little bit about. So this is technology that I use. Um, this is an Amazon Kindle, um, which pops open uh, when I 
open the lid. I have a leather case mm -hmm. that I use with it. It's waking up. Well, this particular model is the 2010 Paper White, oh. and uh, I'm going to swipe up. Mm -hmm. And I like to read. I do a fair amount of reading. Mm -hmm. I don't. I wouldn't say that I'm a bookworm, mm -hmm. but, but you I can't really read. like to. Work. But you can't read. But one of the reasons I like to read is because of this. Mm -hmm. uh, you can have thousands of books on it. Mm -hmm. The battery life is measured in weeks. Not oh, wow. days or hours, weeks. but weeks. Okay, That's it depends. Impressive. Mm -hmm. It is impressive, and I really like it. Now, I was noticing when this model came out uh, last November two th twenty eighteen, the initial reviews were mostly positive. There were some, I would say, I think the British say whinging reviews. Oh yes, yes, yes. Where oh, I can't really see the fonts that well, or mm -hmm. uh, what was the other one? Um, the display is not quite as crisp as I would like. I'm like, really? I mean, are we talking about the same product? And I realized, you know, I actually bought it in July of 2019. Mm -hmm. So, And when I bought it and I opened it up for the first time, it went through, obviously, a software update of some kind because I saw the familiar progress bar oh, yeah, sure. going across and uh -huh. kind of struggling at first. I'm like, really? I want this thing to load right now. <laughs> I don't have time for this. You got impatient, right? Exactly. Yeah. So uh, there's one thing that I really like about the Kindle, and that is that um, I'm going to look at the home screen. Um, so with the Kindle, you can have thousands of books mm -hmm. stored on the device itself. This comes with eight gigabytes of, of storage. Mm -hmm which doesn't sound like a huge amount to someone who may have an iPad, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, this device here. Mm -hmm. And I'll, I'll show that in a minute. Um, this one has 32 gigabytes right. of storage. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, yeah. we'll come back to that. Um, but the fact is, is that books don't normally require a lot of space on right. a, a storage. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to take up that much room. It also supports Audible or audiobooks. Mm -hmm. Audible is Amazon's audiobook service, mm -hmm. which you can try for free. I'm not a huge audiobook person myself. Mm -hmm. It, I guess if I were going on a long drive, I might do that, and we've done that before. I've got a question for you. Though. Okay. Yeah. okay. Um, uh, what is the average size of a book in terms of bytes? Do you know? I mean, or, or, or does this device actually access the cloud? Ah. And, and you're not using any, any uh, uh, storage. Okay, on your so yeah. that's a very interesting question because you get both. You get oh, you both, get both, and. You get oh, both cloud. I love both end decisions. You get, you get cloud and you get this. Now, in order to read it, you need to download from the cloud. But right. think of it this way. All your book purchases are stored in the cloud. And mm -hmm. uh, that's handy because if you ever upgrade your Amazon device like I did, right. then they're still there. Right. Or if and you, you lost just this them. at the bottom of a pool because yes. you were reading a novel at the bottom of the pool yes. it's supposed to be waterproof. That's right. That's right. Well, it's the only place that's quiet. <laughs> okay, the kids are always screaming. But because right. your books are on the cloud, you don't yeah. have to worry. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I love that. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Right. Cloud is a good place okay. to keep Thank one's you. That's books. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. So there's really no megabyte storage because you can use it. Okay. You know, and I don't really notice megabytes mm -hmm. these days. You know, we're we're in gigabytes now. I got another question for you. Yeah. Um, the pages that you see on this device are they JPEGs? Are they PNGs? Are what? Are, are they are they pictures of the page? I've never figured that out. I don't really know what format they're using oh, yeah. for for Amazon for, for, from, from uh, Kindle device. books. Yeah. My guess is that it's if it's not PDF, it's some variation of PDF. Mm. And a PDF is lightweight, yeah. and it's uh, so that would be my guess. But that's a good question. I don't really know, and, and we can look into that. I've never but, figured it out. But I can I can tell you that if I go back to to load the the book itself. Uh, now I'm not wearing my glasses right now, so it's a little fuzzy anyway. <laughs> but uh, but I have no problem reading this. And what's great about it is that you don't have to turn on a bunch of lights mm -hmm. to read. And there's a lot of light in the studio. You can be in bed, so and your partner can be soundly snoring away. Mm -hmm. And all you need is the backlit display on this device to read your book. And it includes Wi-Fi. Amazon also includes. 
uh, free cellular with this device. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was pretty impressive. I haven't really taken advantage of that. Mm -hmm. But you have to mm -hmm. watch it with that, mm -hmm. uh, especially if you're tra This is a great travel mm -hmm. uh, take-along device if you want to read on the road. The only problem is that you have to be careful about extracellular roaming charges. And so for you're example, talking about, you're talking about cellular data. Yes. Uploading and downloading. That's right. Downloading. You're not going to use this to make a phone call. Uh, I'm going to clear that up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is not, hello, hello, yeah, I'm not here. <laughs> You'll be waiting a long time. time. Speak up, please. <laughs> oh, right. It's not a phone. Mm. It's not a phone. No. It's cellular data. Right. So we're uploading and downloading. Well, actually, we're just downloading. Just downloading. Okay. okay. We're just downloading stuff on here. And uh, you can you can also delete books that, that you no longer want to read. Oh, good. Good, good. But uh, does that answer your question? Yeah, it does. Well, yeah. What, so anyways, what I was saying about cellular, if you go on a trip, for example, great, great example, actually, if you go on a cruise, mm -hmm. let's say you go on an Alaskan cruise, mm -hmm. okay, and you've got your Amazon Kindle, and you're on the deck, the blanket is... Mm -hmm. You're freezing. You're, no, you're not freezing. <laughs> your nose is freezing, but you're kind of co comfortably ensconced mm -hmm. on the deck and reading away, and all of a sudden you notice there's a funny symbol at the top which says something like International Cellular. Okay, mm -hmm. what that means, International Cellular, is satellite. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. satellite is boku expensive, mm -hmm. as we found so out. So don't click that little icon, don't touch that icon. No, don't, uh, and that's just true generally if you've even got a phone, um, yeah. when you go on those cruises oh, or whatever, yeah, yeah. purchase yeah. the uh, cellular plan that they sell. Right. It's going to save you a lot of money. Right, before you leave. <laughs> That's a major digression, I know. But, mm -hmm. but that is sometimes the hidden oh, charge yeah. in some of these things. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, the other thing I noticed today was that, and I, and I thought it was appropriate to bring up, uh, in, in addition to the fact that this is technology that I use and use on an ongoing basis, is the fact that uh, right now, if you're an Amazon Prime member, oh, I am. you can get this for about 90 bucks. It normally really? retails for 120, uh, 130 bucks. Uh -huh. I don't, I don't do pennies. Okay, <laughs> you round up. Okay, just ignore pennies. Right, right, right. This is selling for 90 bucks right now. Right. And uh, mm -hmm. normally it would be 130 bucks. There is a 32 gigabyte option. Why would you need a 32 gigabyte option? Well, let's say you're really into Japanese manga, or maybe you've got 100 or so audiobooks you want to download. Okay, the 32 gigabytes might come in handy, mm -hmm. but otherwise, eight gigabytes will suit you just fine. Mm -hmm. uh, I just wanted to talk, say one more thing about the screen, and it may be a little bit hard to see from the camera angle, but. I had the previous generation Amazon uh, Kindle Paperwhite, and there was a slight bevel around the screen. Oh yeah, and that's right. now there's no longer a bevel, so mm. this screen is flush. So it's a little brighter mm -hmm. than uh, yeah. than what I used to see when I was reading my Kindle. Mm. So uh, one more thing that yeah. we were talking about, and some people have asked us about, is that is it really waterproof? Well, uh, it is waterproof, but the way they advertise it, and mm -hmm. we're going to be testing this, I, know, I think, I know. in, in a little I'm more depth. Because I'm skeptical. I'm really skeptical. Because you're skeptical <laughs> and you're concerned about water. Right. But what they right. usually, mm -hmm. when they're talking about waterproof, they're talking about like an, an accidental spill. Being splashed. Splashed. Right. Like somebody does a jackknife in the pool. Right. And you know, a gallon of water got you get some. In fact, I, on my new Lenovo, I just ordered a new L Lenovo uh, laptop, and they actually use that now, splash you, resistant. It's okay. splash resistant. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look. How do you pronounce that? What Lenovo or Lenovo? I, I say Lenovo. Okay. Because I use the French Lenovo. Lenovo. Oh, Lenovo. Lenovo. That's Lenovo. Yeah. Okay. Lenovo. Whatever. Yeah, I think. And you pronounce it what way? You pronounce it Lenovo. Lenovo. Yeah. See, well, yeah. Hey, hey from Lenovo. He's yeah. from Brooklyn. It's more of a Brooklyn <laughs> pronunciation, right. so I guess it depends on what part of the country. Where you're from. Yeah. Okay, so there you are. So we're going to test the waterproof thing. Right? We're going to test the waterproof episode, thing. So stand by. Yeah, there is. Um, any connections that we should know about? No, no, just the battery connection, which the is a little power, hard to see. The, the power, power yeah. Okay. It takes <clears throat> it takes approximately four hours mm -hmm. 
uh, to charge this, I found, um, when I hook it up to my laptop yeah. uh, via the USB. Or just open it. There is another one. Uh, well, they say it actually it might be five hours. I, I don't really keep track, to be honest. What's four hours versus five hours? I just plug it in, and, it, and then the little light down here turns green when it's done. Um, it That works fine. Um, charging's good. There's also a little power button here. I don't really use the power button that much because when I'm finished with it, I just close it like that, and it's in sleep mode. And uh, I don't have to worry about, oh, is it still draining the battery when mm -hmm. it's closed? Now, there's no light uh, There's no light wheel, brightness wheel. There's no, it's just one bright page, and that's... It, no, you can adjust the settings. Okay, so you can, oh, I see, but it's in the software. No, it's no, in the software. There's no little gadget. All the settings are, ah, uh, there's no ah. gadgets for that. So gadgets are going away. You, you have to... Um, go here and then yeah, yeah. click on settings yeah, and so right. forth. So, but you can like adjust the, the brightness through the settings. Yeah. Just like on the Roku or yeah, something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, and there's some other things here. I'm not going to go into all the, mm -hmm. what the icons mean. Yeah. But essentially, Thank you can so. purchase books uh, on, from this interface and also adjust the screen settings and change the fonts mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. Now, these are only Amazon books? Yes. So, so Audible, you can't, you can't use Audible. No, you can use Audible, you because, can use Audible. because Amazon owns Audible. Oh, I didn't know that. See, I know. I didn't know that. Did I shatter your world? Dummy. Okay. They um, own everything. Right? Well, they're working on it. Yeah. So you can um, use because I, I have Audible and I love Audible. Oh, you do use Audible? Oh yeah, it's okay. on my phone. I have it on my phone, and while I'm driving, let's say to LA, well, perfect. Absolutely. So Audible is compatible with all devices, mm -hmm. including your iPhone and, and your iPad. So I just thought, you know, some people might be thinking, well, you know, I, I do like the idea of reading on a tablet, mm -hmm. but I actually need a little bit more than just a reader. I need a computer, mm -hmm. and so. Okay, there are the, the other device that I use mm -hmm. less frequently mm -hmm. is the iPad. Right. One reason why I use the iPad so infrequently is because the battery life is measured in hours instead of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. But it is a beautiful display. Yeah. You just have to remember to plug it in at the end of the day because, mm -hmm. uh, and I plugged it in the other day and I think I still have 92%. Uh, mm -hmm. charge on here. Now you may notice with all the lights on here in the studio that the Am the iPad, oh let me first tell you what this is. This is the Apple iPad 6th generation. I was going to ask you. Right. Yeah. Sixth I have generation. two. Okay. Oh you have the second generation? I need an upgrade. No you don't. You may not actually. Oh no I do. Really? Because it doesn't have a iOS 10. It, it stops at iOS 9.25 and uh, the battery sucks. I mean, what, what are we on right now? iOS 14 or something like I think that? So. I don't know. I yeah, don't I think know. it's iOS 14. I can check what it is, but I'm pretty sure that's what we're using. So this is a six? So this is a sixth generation wow. <coughs> iPad. And I used to have, before this, I had an iPad mini, which was around the same time. I had one of those, so I gave it away. Well, uh, mine was, uh, I, I gave it away too, yeah. to a thief in the south of France, actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I Le, was he... his name Le Nouveau? No. <laughs> That's what they named him for, Le no. Nouveau. Uh, I take your iPad from you. <laughs> actually, he took a lot more than my iPad. <laughs> I think he took my old Mac, his MacBook. We love oh, Americans. <laughs> as well, yeah. They love it. I think we're supplying a whole mm -hmm. generation there. Of so the Mini Apple is gone, and you now you've got the 6. So now i got the 6. You're happy with that? Yeah, and um, I got it. I was kind of on the fence about it, but I got it because I was about to shut down. I, I use at and I don't know. Who's your carrier? I have Verizon. Okay, you have Verizon. Yep. So... I was about to shut down a line with, mm -hmm. with at and I just thought, I need to simplify my life and mm -hmm. lower my bill. Mm -hmm. They came back and they said, well, tell you what, we'll give you this iPad. <gasps> and, give? Um, I like give. And, and we're only going to charge you five bucks a month for, um, for this privilege. <laughs> and, oh, yeah, we are going to charge you 99 bucks. And I'm like, you know, the more you listen to this, <laughs> you think you're getting something for free? And it's like, no, and you're not really getting, but I'm, I'm totally a sucker for that. You have to pay for free. Yeah, see? yeah. 
free costs exactly. a lot of money. Or maybe it's like that free plus. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah anyway, yeah, yeah. so this is a free is plus. Is this a phone, by the way, too? Does this have cellular? This phone? has cellular, so oh, I, I can oh, actually. Oh, hello? Oh, I can hear you. So this is actually a phone. Mm -hmm. It's also a computer. You can check your email on it. Um, so. See, I thought this is where things would stop. Once you've got a computer with a good size screen and your telephone all in one device, uh -huh. you know, because remember the days when they were not all married, you had to have a separate thing for this and a separate thing for that. Yeah. I thought it would stop here. It hasn't stopped. It hasn't stopped. Because it's gone to here. That's right. It's gone and to actually, five. that is probably less powerful than this because you have an iPhone 6. 6S S Plus. Yeah, and I think you're using the A6 processor on that yes, one. Yes. This one has the A10 processor. Yeah, the A10. Okay. Well, then that's just it. I mean, they get you. I can't you. keep up. I can't keep up. Right. Know? And and I think that, um, to be honest, I have to think of reasons to use this device. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> I I like it. I think it's well made. This was this one came with a stylus, and I thought, mm -hmm. and, I, and I did buy the stylus. It's in my bag. Mm -hmm. Um and you know there are lots of videos out there showing people with the stylus, real Enjoy artists, that. more creative than I am, who are creating beautiful works of art mm -hmm. with their iPad and their stylus. Mm -hmm. But I just don't have the patience to learn that. Mm -hmm. And so, and then okay, it has a camera, mm -hmm. uh, and actually you could shoot a blog, I suppose, mm -hmm. with or a podcast, or uh, yeah, that's what I meant, a podcast with this thing, but I'm not, because mm -hmm. it only has 32 gigabytes of storage, so oh, I probably dear. wouldn't use it oh, for yeah, that. Yeah, 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 so then yeah. we end up using it for games and movies. That's oh, really yeah? what this is. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm not sure it was a good idea. Mm -hmm. I still have the cellular, or maybe I should disconnect the number and just keep it around, but um, that's it. So the iPad, I would say, is a um, not a must-have for me. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I do use it though for one important thing. What's that? So when we're um, when I'm building a website mm -hmm. for someone, yeah, I'll just I occasionally I'll check and see what it looks like on the iPad. Oh, because okay. there are yeah. people who are using this to surf the web, right. and we just want to see how, it, how that's formatted. Mm -hmm. That's not a typical requirement for most people. Yeah, cross so, cross platform uh, connectivity is a big issue. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll get into that in a future episode because it's a very important issue. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It definitely is yep. uh, connectivity. So, so here we have three products. Let's just line them all up that we do today. We have three products. You've got the uh, the uh, paper white, the paper. Amazon Kindle paper white, right. yeah, tenth generation. And then you've got uh, the iPad, which you're uh, inventing things to use it for. I, I'm still looking for reasons. If you have any suggestions, please. Right. Uh, and then you know, I mean, most people. We all have iPhones. We all have iPhones. I've looked at the eleven. I, I'm lusting after one of them, yeah. but I don't really need it. I yeah. really, I really have looked at it from several angles. I haven't even used half of the storage of this device. And this how is, much storage does it have? Oh, this has got 64 gig. 64. Okay. Yeah, 64. Uh, that would be 64 gig. 64 yeah. gig. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and I've only used half of it. And plus, if you use the cloud to store your pictures and your videos, you're never going to run out of room. That's thing. true. Never. Yeah. You know, the only thing I have problems with it is finding out how to deactivate the sleep mode if I'm doing a video. <laughs> you've, got, you've got probably a good year left on that phone. Mm -hmm. I mean, you take very good care of the phone. Mm -hmm. You don't have a case, which is astonishing to me. I know, it's, but this little liner, I've dropped this several times. On what liner? This is a liner. This is not, this is, see, that's a liner. Oh, you do have a liner. Yeah, I oh. do have a case. Okay. But it's, 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 ah. and I've dropped it several times on concrete. Okay. All right. Not very high, but it, I don't have a broken screen. I mean, yeah. most generations, your, your kids probably have broken screens, right? <laughs> I don't want to, it's, it's like a thing, right? It's painful. <laughs> Anyway, so I could tell you the stories. That's right. That's right. And then you I'm shake your head and go, wait a minute. Right. This device was not crash tested for this scenario. No. Okay. No, they should hire a lot of Generation Z kids to test out these phones in a crash situation. Oh, my God. I know. I know. I know. Oh, my God. But anyway, right. um, it's been... Um, well, I have one more device oh, yeah, what, that I wanted to tell yeah, you about yeah, yeah. that's kind of related to that. And I'm wearing it. And so oh. this was a... Uh, this is an Apple Watch. And again, 
Apple, so this is an example of, it's not something I bought in 2005, but the Apple Watch has been pretty handy for me. Okay. Uh, this is a Series 3. So this mm -hmm. came out, I believe, two years ago. Mm -hmm. And this was the first one to come out with cellular built in. So it does have its own number. Mm -hmm. But if somebody calls me on my main number, it gets forwarded to yep. this. Yep. And the reason that alone I thought was handy because sometimes there are situations where I don't want to take my phone with me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, the call reception is pretty good. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask you about that. It, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. and, and people say, oh, I can hear you fine. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking, you know, about, let's say, two feet away from my... So it's a Dick Tracy watch. I was going to point that out. It's, uh, it's a Dick Tracy watch. Most of you, or many of you, are probably too young to remember uh, who Dick Tracy was. But this, this device was actually prefigured in the 1950s in a cartoon called Dick Tracy. He was a detective. And he would get calls on his wristwatch phone. Yeah. And that's Attention, how, Dick Tracy. Yeah. yeah. 1950s, folks. All yeah. Right? Yeah. That's right. Unbelievable. Right, and but that's and that's a Star it. Trek communicator. Yeah, this okay. Is, yeah, beam me up, uh, But right. you're happy with this? I am happy with it, and another okay. reason I like it is because of the fitness tracking. So I can keep track of. Oh, so you're I'm walking. a little low today. Yeah. Yeah. So I keep track of my walking, my swimming, my working out, mm. cardio workouts, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. Uh, weightlifting and stuff like that. Also, you can get messages on this. Yes. Although the, I am? the display is so small, you can't read it. That um, look, I've got to get something a larger device <laughs> in order to see the analog, text message on analog there. piece of equipment. Yeah. So these are designed for a 14-year-old. Right. Most year things are. Eyes. But uh, in any case, it tells you uh -huh. whether you're meeting your fitness goals or not on a daily mm -hmm. basis. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you that um, I've I've gotten better at uh, meeting my fitness goals. Mm -hmm. So. I don't think I've lost any weight. <laughs> but, Let me ask you, but, yeah. uh, if you have Alexa, yeah. can you use your phone to inform Alexa to do something? Uh, I've heard that you could, but I haven't seen it done. Okay, so Alexa is Amazon. That's right. This is Siri. Right. So Siri oh, yeah. is Apple's voice activation right. technology, right. 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 which works with this device, the, the iPad, and the, phone. The, the, the iPhone, and the watch, and, the watch. Right. and now the computer. So they, they, Siri works on, on all Apple devices. Mm -hmm. um, does, I don't think that Siri works, or sorry, uh, Alexa works, which oh, is Amazon's like, technology. Yeah, Amazon, they have their own technology called Echo, don't they? No. Okay, so Alexa is their technology, like right, Siri. Right, 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 that's right. the, that's cross-platform. Right. right. And, and uh, the Echo mm -hmm. is an actual voice-activated box. Mm, right, it right. kind of looks like a pillbox yep. or, yeah. or a trash can. Or even a small screen. I've got one at home that's about this size. Okay. Yeah. All They're right. nice. I like them. Uh, Terrific sound, by the way. The music is wonderful. Oh, really? God, wonderful. I'll bring one in. We'll do an episode on that one. Okay. They're really nice. Yeah. Okay. You just got a text. I just got a text from, uh, oh, it's from, uh, it's from Alexa. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> She's speaking Russian to me. All right. She said, I want to meet you for lunch. Anyway. Uh, all right. <laughs> Well, good luck with that. I know. Let's see if she shows up. I know. Uh, in okay. Moscow. We had to go yeah, in Moscow. Moscow. Okay. <laughs> or does she want she want to be flown here? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In any case, so uh, that that's just it. I, I uh, just so kind of want to do a little. I am. Um, are they got, are they going to upgrade this? Is Cooper they already have. Yeah. So they've got um, a Series Five now, okay. and uh, it basically has a longer battery life. Mm -hmm. I do have to charge. Excuse me, I have to charge this every night. Mm. And uh, so you just plug it into a little. Charger? No, you don't plug it in. This sits on a little cradle, which I didn't bring with ah. me. But it's got it's a, a charging paddle. Oh, a charging. That's paddle. what I call it. I like those. And it just sits on top. Yeah. And mm -hmm. and it absorbs the energy. You from know, below. they have those for cars. Really? Yes. I, I, I was over at the BMW shop the other day, and a lot of their models are, are, are using that technology instead of actually plugging your car into a That's wall, so much better. You, you just drive over the pad. There's a pad in your garage now, and you just go in the house and go to sleep, and by the time you get up in the morning, it's all charged. <laughs> that sounds great. Yeah. I will, I, in fact, that'd be great if, if parking garages had that feature. I know. Feature. They should. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You know. Anyway. I would pay for it. Yeah, I would, too. Yeah. So this has been very interesting. I hope okay. it's been interested for you folks there at home. Sure. And remember to tune in um, whenever we have a podcast on the Mark and Peter Tech Bar. Okay. Right here. See you in the next one.